Hello everybody, I am going to be reading our story today and our story is called I will not ever never eat a tomato and it's a Charlie and Lola book so anybody in my class already knows that we've, we've read a Charlie and Lola book before. So this book is written by Lauren Child and I wonder what it could be about. Let's see. I have this little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. Sometimes I have to keep an eye on her. Sometimes mum and dad ask me to give her her dinner. This is a hard job because she is a very fussy eater. Lola won't eat carrots, of course. She says carrots are for rabbits. I say what about peas? Lola says, peas are too small and too green. One day I played a good trick on her. She was sitting at the table waiting for her dinner and Lola said, I do not eat peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. I do not eat cauliflower or cabbage or baked beans or bananas or oranges and I am not keen on apples or rice or cheese or fish fingers and I absolutely will not ever never eat a tomato. My sister hates tomatoes and I said that is lucky because we're not having any of those things. We're not going to eat any peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. There will be no cauliflower, cabbage or baked beans or bananas or oranges. We do not have any apples or rice or cheese or fish fingers and certainly no tomatoes. Lola looks at the table. But why are those carrots there, Charlie? I don't ever eat carrots. And I said, oh, you think these are carrots? These are not carrots. These are orange twiglets from Jupiter. They look just like carrots to me, said Lola. But how can they be carrots, I say? Carrots don't grow on Jupiter. That's true, said Lola. Well, I think I might try just one. If they're all the way from Jupiter. Hmm, not bad, she says, taking another bite. <gasps> Who's she eating the carrots with? <gasps> then Lola sees some peas. I don't eat peas, said Lola. I say, they're not peas, of course. Of course they're not. These are green drops from Greenland and they're made out of green and fall from the sky. But I don't eat green things, says Lola. Oh goody, I say, I'll have your share. Green drops are so incredibly rare. Well, maybe I'll nibble just one or two. Oh, says Lola, they're, they're quite tasty. Next, Lola spies the potato. I will not eat potato. So don't even try, not even mash. Oh, this isn't mash. People often think that, but no, this is cloud fluff from the pointiest peak of Mount Fuji. Oh well, in that case, a large helping for me. I'd love to eat clouds. Charlie, she says, they look like fish fingers to me and I would never eat a fish finger. I know that, but these are not fish fingers. 
These are ocean nibbles from the supermarket under the sea. Mermaids eat them all the time. Oh, I've been to that supermarket one time with mum. Yes, I know, I know the ones. I think, I think I've had them before. Lola says, gobbling. Are there any more? And then Lola says, Charlie, will you pass me one of those? And I say, what? One of, one of those? And Lola says, yes, Charlie, one of those. And I can't believe my eyes because guess what she's pointing at? The, what do we think it is? Does anybody know? The tomatoes. And I say, are you sure? Really? One of these? See the big tomatoes. And she says, yes, of course. Moon squirters are my favorite. You didn't think they were tomatoes, did you, Charlie? Hey, you come to say hello. Sorry, everybody, that is the end of the story. And also, we've got a wee visitor from my cat coming to say hello. So Duke has come to see what all the, the story was about. Everybody, that is the end of our story now. If you've got a food that you didn't like and sometimes eat now, Maybe you could give us a wee comment to see and so that you could share it with everybody. And I'll see you all again for another story at some point soon. All right. Bye bye.